Hello, this is Michael Fine. I'm Global Product Manager for Zebra's RFID Printer Portfolio. And today I wanted to tell you a little bit about our new ZT411 on metal RFID printer. What you just saw was we printed 10 Silverline Micro RFID labels. And the Silverline labels, really all RFID on metal labels, are a little bit thicker than normal. The, uh, these, these are a little over a millimeter thick. And because of that, we had to modify this printer to be able to optimally run these. It's really a unique offering in the industry. Nobody else offers one that's specifically designed and modified such to, uh, to print these thicker on metal RFID labels, you know, accurately and, uh, and, and with good print quality every single time. I'm going to show you a little bit about what's under the hood and what makes this different than our standard ZT411R printer. Uh, so the first thing to, to notice is when I open the print head, is that underneath, so first of all, a lot of this is just like our standard ZT411 RFID printer. Coupler is right behind the print head that's underneath this black plastic cover here. Inside this is our 20 element adaptive RFID array. That's 20 individual antennas that lets us encode a wide variety in sizes and shapes of labels, including, as you just saw, the, these on metal labels. Now the other piece that makes this unique, there's two things that, are, that really differentiate the on-metal version versus the standard version, and that's the print head and our uh, spacer in our, in our sensor assembly, our media guide in our sensor assembly, I should say. I'm gonna show you the sensor assembly first. So that's in the back here. And we say it actually has a little clip that slides in and out. So the, the first thing to notice is that this is where our, our optical sensors are. And those optical sensors are what, what sets the label length and accurately senses kind of when, when la one label starts and then uh, and ends and the next one begins. And that's the, the critical thing is that the labels can, can slide freely through this gap and that the height and their position is, is correct so we can uh, sense that uh, appropriately. And on the on-metal version, you can see we actually have two versions of this clip. On the on-metal version, we don't have these ridges. We just, we have this kind of flat piece. We've flattened this out. That allows us to feed these thicker labels um, and, and also kind of keep the media riding at the correct distance so that so the sensors optimally sense this. So the first thing that's different is on-metal version uh, has no ridges. The standard version has these ridges, but it's very, you can see it's very easy to, to, to slide in and out. So if I want to change this, all I need to do is line it up. Hard to do with one hand. All I need to do is line it up and slide it back in. And if I want to swap it out, I take the standard version out and slide the on-metal version in. Now the other thing that's special about the on-metal printer is the print head itself. We've actually modified the print head to be able to, um, to accurately print these thicker labels. And I have one in my hand. I'm not gonna pop it out of there, but I have this in my hand. This is exactly what's inside this. And you see there's two things that are, that are quite a bit different than our standard print head. The first is this front bezel on the front. We've really smoothed this whole profile out and this rounded bezel prevents labels from getting caught as they're squeezed and that foam kind of squeezes underneath the print head. And the second piece is this cap down here which covers up this gap in the back and kind of similarly helps, helps these thicker foam-based labels slide across that, that print head profile without getting caught, without any opportunity to get stuck. Um, I often get asked, can I run standard labels on the on-metal printer? And uh, when, while we don't necessarily recommend that, you, you can. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with this print head. You can, um, when, it, again, when it comes to standard labels, you can certainly print standard labels with, with this print head. The only thing that you might find is that because the if you're running an on-metal printer and haven't changed this gap in the back, you might find that you get more flutter than we're, than we're used to because we don't have the ridges here to, to feed it through there. So what I do recommend is swapping the the media guide in the back if you're going to be printing standard labels on the on-metal printer. Now we sell this as a, as a kit. If you order it from the factory, the on-metal printer only comes with the, the, the on-metal um, media guide installed and the on-metal print head installed. But if you order the, the upgrade kit, you can actually field install this print head and then you get the extra clip comes with it. And then you have the ability to change both of these as you wish uh, to, to print standard labels and on-metal labels. So hopefully that gives you an, an overview of, of what makes the, this printer unique. So the only one in the industry that's optimized to print 
on metal labels with uh, switchable print heads and, and customizable, um, really changeable uh, media guides in the back. So like I said, this is optimized for silver line labels. We, we offer uh, several different sizes of those, but uh, it, it's compatible and we certainly support this with a wide variety of on metal labels that are, that are out there and available today.